Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Cody Steck and this is a review on Meet Kevin's YouTube course. I went ahead and purchased this course so that you don't have to. Now this is gonna be a review. It's not gonna necessarily be an explanation of what's in the course or a review of certain particular topics that he talks about in the course, but I'm gonna give you an overarching review about this course and everything you need to know about whether you should decide to purchase it or maybe you should spend your money somewhere else. So let's jump into it. Now first off, I've gotta say that this course is actually really good. There's a lot of courses and a lot of influencers who get a bad rap here on YouTube because they're pitching courses that aren't really worth the money that you're paying for them. However, Meet Kevin's course is a little bit different. For the value that you get for the three or four hundred dollars that this course costs, I think there's way more value in this than he's actually charging for it. So I think that this course could easily be a thousand dollars or more, but I want to talk a little bit about kind of how he starts in the course and what the background of it is. So the very first section, you're going to jump into the course, you're going to see that there's actually over 15 sections of content and there's gotta be at least 15 to 20 hours worth of content in there as well. So it can be a little bit overwhelming right at first, but it's actually not that bad. Jumping into the course, the very first section talks a little bit about his story, how he found success on YouTube, and how he's closed in on almost a million subscribers in just the last couple of years. He talks about how he started this course to provide niche information that would just not get the views necessary if he posted on YouTube. He can bundle it up into this course, sell it to viewers who are interested in looking at this information, and actually make a profit on it. Whereas if you post it on YouTube, it's gonna get buried in the millions of other videos that are on the platform. So this is very niche information and it goes in order to actually help you find success on YouTube yourself. With so much content actually inside of the course, I got overwhelmed a little bit myself. I was looking at it and I said, okay, I've already been posting videos here on YouTube for just about a year at the time I'd purchased the course. And I thought to myself, well, I don't need every single bit of content. I, I've got some basics on audio. I've got some basics on lighting. I've got some basics on how YouTube works, how to produce a video, etc. So I didn't start right at the beginning. Yes, those those uh, videos are very interesting, but for me, it was something where I was going into it looking for where is the 80% of the value in this video or in this course going to come from? And I know that it's gonna be tucked away in just 20% of the videos that are there inside the course. And on that note, this is actually something called the Pareto Principle or the 80-20 rule, which is something that you should get familiar with. It basically states that 80% of the value is going to come from 20% of the content and it applies to just about everything right if you think about it it can apply to traffic right 80% of the traffic happens on 20% of the roads 80% of the money is made by 20% of the people so this is something that's very important to keep in mind especially if you're in business if you're in YouTube if you're in any other particular um, you know, industry where you're trying to progress and get better at something, it's a very important concept to understand. So anyway, I digress. Uh, the purpose of why I'm bringing that up is that in Meet Kevin's courses, there are just a few videos in there that are very valuable and well worth the money that you pay for this course. He talks about every single thing you need to know about making videos for YouTube. He talks about lighting, he talks about audio, how to edit your videos, what camera to use, what editing software to use. He talks about everything you need to know and he's been through the ringer. You can tell that he's definitely tried out every single possibility out there. I mean, there's at least, you know, probably an hour of content on just microphones. He talks about and shows you examples on how to record sound with just your iPhone, or maybe it's with a lapel mic, or maybe it's with a shotgun mic. Maybe it's with a, a boom mic that you would use on a movie set, right? He's got everything and he actually shows this all to you in the course. So it's actually really cool to see. Some of it is overkill. Some of it is stuff that you don't even need, but at least it's there to show you that there is a, uh, you know, small portion of the people inside the course who are going to find value in that. For most of us, we're gonna need something simple, right? So it can be a little bit overwhelming in that sense, but there is that more advanced gear uh, in the course that he talks about if you are on a more advanced level. Even though there's a lot of topics and he talks about everything from how to set up your set, how to get good audio, how to get good lighting, how to edit your videos quickly. He talks about everything in there, but there's just a few videos that really knock it out of the park and are the ones that you'd really want to pay attention to if you're looking to grow here on YouTube. Now, one thing in the course that I should mention is that he constantly reiterates bringing value to your audience. And you know, this is one of those things that kind of just kind of tugs at me a little bit because it is a very important thing. But you know, I think as creators or even just as business people, you know, trying to, to get good at something, trying to uh, get better. We're looking for that shortcut, right? We're looking for the secret sauce. And to be honest, you know, I think it's pretty obvious that there's no secret sauce. There's just hard work. There's just getting better. And there's just bringing value to other people. That's how you grow on social media in general. And especially here on YouTube, you have to give value to your audience. And that's something that you can't really teach. You can't really teach how to give value other than having good lighting, good editing, and having good valuable topics to talk about. You want to provide your opinion 
and your perspective on different topics. And if that's giving value to your audience, you're going to grow. One other thing that's incredibly valuable that he talks about is how to do a Trojan horse video to basically break into the algorithm and break out of a potential rut that you're in. These Trojan horse videos are gonna be videos that have a higher likelihood of going potentially viral, right? And it could be, you know, just viral based on what you're used to, or it could be viral in the sense that it gets millions of views. And the other cool thing is that he breaks this down from the very basics. He goes back to the fundamentals of what the YouTube algorithm is and what it's looking for. You know, he basically says, well, YouTube algorithm wants people to stay on the website. They want people to continue watching videos. How do they do that? Well, they do that with increased viewing time and with increased click-through rates. And then Meet Kevin builds on top of that and he'll say, you know, okay, now that you've got increased viewing time and increased click-through rates, here's how you get to that next level. Here's how you continue progressing and continue getting the algorithm to potentially like you and your videos. He really helps to build on this and give you a deep understanding of what they're actually looking for. And on that note, I wanna give you an example of my story. I've been posting videos here on this channel for just about a year, talking about real estate, talking about money, entrepreneurship, and just kind of vlogging, I guess, in a sense, and helping to educate people. I decided to implement one of Meet Kevin's Trojan Horse ideas, and I got a video that went mini viral, at least in my sense, and it has just over 4,100 views now. This isn't just the first day and a half of releasing this video, and to be honest with you, the views that I'm getting on this video are almost one third of the total views I've received on my entire channel over the past year. It's really crazy to see how that on YouTube, just one video can really help you break out, can really help you get some exposure and really help you get to that next level. So using the tactics that Meet Kevin talks about here in the course is actually really helpful. There's absolutely so much value in this course that you don't even need to watch all of the content in there to get your money's worth. Some of his examples on how he edits and how he's able to put out three to five videos per day by himself of super high quality content is absolutely mind blowing. It helped me cut my own editing time from about one to two hours down to about 10 to 15 minutes on most videos. So if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel and you want to put out good high quality content, I would say definitely go ahead and buy me Kevin's course. I have no affiliation with him. I'm just giving an honest review based on a happy customer. He didn't ask me to put out this video or anything. I'm just giving you a review so that you know what type of content and value you're going to get by purchasing his course. If you're thinking about doing it, I would say that you're better off buying his course and filming with a crappier camera or filming with your iPhone or you know holding off on that new computer or whatever it may be because you're going to get way more value and way more content out of having access to his course. So with that being said guys go check out Meet Kevin's page, go check out his courses and I'll catch you in the next one.